Jewish family kind of like losing me. Um, so my name is Kate Barry. I'm a second year law student at Boston College Law School. Uh, during this most recent summer, I was an intern at Greater Boston Legal Services working on EA issues. And during September, I spent some time interviewing families who even IDA for the Coalition to Protect Homeless Families. Uh, before the laws changed, these was far from perfect, but for the most part, I felt like we were able to get our neediest clients into shelter. After the regulations changed, though, I began to see client after client being denied shelter despite desperate situations. One of the first clients I saw after the changes was a young woman with a five-year-old son. They had temporarily and they had been temporarily and illegally doubled up in a friend's subsidized apartment. However, they were being kicked out because the landlord had found out and wanted them out immediately. Their friend had risked their, her own lease and subsidy by allowing them to stay in the first place. This was the first time I ever made a client cry, as I explained to her, she would literally have to be sleeping on the streets with her five-year-old son before she would be eligible for EA shelter. And what are the consequences of forcing people into such situations? After being denied shelter, one client went home for a night with a generous stranger she met outside the DHCD offices. Unfortunately, when she applied for EA again the next day, DHCD considered this feasible alternative housing and denied her again. Uh, she, after this, she was forced to sleep in a park for several days with her children. Another client, eight months into a high-risk pregnancy, was denied shelter in an imminent kick-out situation and slept in a car for several days. Before kicking DHCD, she had no feasible alternative housing. Others managed to avoid sleeping on the streets in cars, but bounced from couch to couch. One person I spoke with said they hadn't spent more than three or four days in a row in the same place for weeks. They and their children clearly had no stable home, but were ineligible for EA because they weren't homeless enough under the new laws. This isn't the kind of situation that's safe or healthy for children. Now, until this summer, I felt really lucky to be from Massachusetts. I was born and raised here, and I was proud to be from a state, from a progressive state, where we look up for our own citizens and recognize that some things are more important than saving tax dollars. Since the passage of these new regulations and laws, I've lost a lot of faith in 